Alright guys, so now to get a bit more into all the tools in Flash, although you may see a lot here, there's only a few that we would usually mainly use, and these are, for example, um, the line tool, which, as you know, is just like in Paint Program, it makes lines. Uh, the square tool, which gives you two options. First, how and what color you want the outline to be. Let's just say in this case I wanted uh, orange, and then how do you want it fill, which is right here. Let's just say I want it uh, filled in blue. And now if I draw it, I've got an orange contour and then a blue contour. By default, it's going to be black and whatever color you choose is what it's going to give you. Uh, to delete something, just click on the cursor. You, you uh, drag the whole uh, box over the materials. And then once it's dragged, just click delete and it will, it will all disappear. And uh, now, moving on, we've got the pencil tool. Uh, you could draw just like that, and then usually it would do a little bit of smoothing to the um, to the line that you've drawn. But if you want or require extra smoothing, um, you would click on smooth as it is right now. Actually, if you want it to be uh, to be exactly how you're doing it, you click on ink, and you get more details here. And if you want it to be in the you know, in straight form, just click on straighten, and then it'll give you all the zigzags right here. By default, however, it's going to be on smooth, and that's how you get uh, clean lines like that. Okay, moving on. Um, this is a brush tool. It's uh, it's very important as well. You could, when it comes to the line tool, if you wanted to select a color, you could only select it in the pencil. Okay. For example, if I if I uh, change the color in the paint bucket, it doesn't affect it because line connects with pencil. But if you go to paint, uh, it doesn't connect with line. It connects with paint. If you're gonna change the color, you just go on paint, and you would change it there. Um, so now for paint, uh, you've got the different sizes here. The brush size goes from smallest to largest. If you wanna try the largest, it's that. Let's change color again and then go to smallest. You get that. Now, you got also the different shapes. Um, if you want to create an interesting effect, let's go with this. Make the size a bit bigger. Change the color again and you get something like that. Okay, but normally we use this circle and this to, on average, two points where they are right now. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is basically how to create an object. Um, before telling you that, if you want to change uh, the background of the whole thing, you could actually click on the stage, right click, go to document properties, and then you could click on the background color right here. And let's just say I wanted a nice blue background. You click here and click OK. All right. So this will be the default background for any frames or any layers. You can't change that. The only way you can change it again is right click, document, and change the background color. Okay. And now let's just make an object. So I'm in layer one in frame one. Um, if I want to make an object, I could start off with clicking here making the head shape I want my contour to be black the head to have a nice a um, white color so I've got the head right here now if I wanted to make eyes I'll go on brush and remember the brush goes with paint so if I wanted black I draw the eyes the smiley face now, if I want to draw a quick sample of a body, there we go, I've got a body, and yes, it'll be a little smoothed. And then if I wanted to paint, the paint tool is right here. Now, the paint, once again, is in the bucket control for the color. If I wanted to make it, uh, let's just say, uh, yellow and if I click here as you may notice it will not paint it and that's because there's a little gap right here there's two way of going around that first under the paint 
whenever that's selected you have the option of changing the color in the bucket section or you could and also you could also change in terms of the filling how much of a gap you would allow this is a medium gap you could actually click on close medium gaps and if you click this it will just automatically fill it up the other way of going around that is just like in paint filling this object and finally you could paint this as well even if it's in don't close gap oh not I guess there's a little gap remaining in between so it's actually uh, wise to keep this in close small gaps or close medium gaps and there we go it worked uh, finally one important thing uh, when I talk to you about layers is let's say if I made an, another layer and if I drew uh, something uh, let's say an umbrella let's just paint the umbrella okay so uh, as I mentioned you could block the layers to keep yourself um, you know organized and if you click on the frame it's a bit confusing when you know you get these lines and then accidentally you click here and you get that and you move this around of course you could undo by pressing control and Z but the other trick actually to keep your object maintained and bring it in one object as it is is to basically click on the frame of your layer which will select the whole object and remember this is, this is very important on your keyboard having the selected object under your layer if you click on F8 it will bring out a little pop-up menu like this in this section you could actually name your object let's name this as um, as, a, as a man and for the type change this to a graphic and click OK so now this image is actually in your library so now this time when you click on it it selects it as a whole not all the uh, the shapes differently so there will be no confusion there however if you did want to modify the object a bit further you could click on it and then double click which will go inside that object and if I were to add for example hands on it I may do so right now and then let's just fill this with the paint white there we go and also if I for example wanted to make uh, shorts but I want the shorts to be on the back of the shirt let's use the layering system so let's just block that for the sake and then create a new layer but this one will go underneath and now we could draw you know begin to draw the pants so uh, I want the counter to be black I select the pencil and then the pants may be right here as you can see we can't see the lines here and the reason being is because we've got the top layer blocking it you can click on a sh this little square right here will make and show the counter only this way I could go back in layer 1 and I could see what's you know behind that x-ray layer to better complete my pant and close it so I could paint it there we go and now as if you want to close it back again you just click that and everything is good if uh, however you wanted to change the uh, the counter if you don't like it green you could at any time I believe go to properties and then outline layer and then put it to a color like red a vibrant color now if you were to click that again you'd see it as red that's basically it okay so now you did all this inside the layer of the man to go back you click on this and there we go let's now block the bottom layer so it doesn't affect when we select it and select the top layer once again press F8 and then turn it into a graphic there we go now you've got two different layers with two different objects okay and finally one more thing I wanted to show you let's just make one extra layer block this two go on layer three 
and uh, make something of a line. I feel, let's just say I wanted to make a wave for some reason. Um, let's set up set up the uh, thing so we could paint it. And I would go with my paint uh, with my line tool here, and it's a good process if you don't want to actually draw it. It's to go over the line like that. So once you've got these lines here, you can actually select the mouse and turn these things around. Modified, I mean. So there we go, that's modified. As well, if you could all, of course, draw this with your pencil tool. And another good idea is if you select it and you click on the smooth edge, it would actually make it smoother at a point until a point where it gets very, um, what do you call it, uh, very acute. So there we go, you could click on that again and it will smooth it. If you want it more pointy, you just click on that. Let's just uh, paint this. I just want you guys to, you know, get a feel of this and get familiar with the tools. If you want to color this once more, I just click here and there we go. Now if you want to change the color, you could of course click here and then change the color. If you want to change the whole color, you could actually select the whole object and change the overall color. If you want to change the, uh, the line color only, you could actually select the whole thing, go online and change the line color to a bright red. Okay, let's just undo this, control Z, control Z, until it gets all back to normal. And finally, click on that, press F8. Uh, call this wave and enter and, and there we go now you've got three separate layers with three different objects for you to animate um, basically that would conclude uh, my first part of the tutorial I hope it did help I just want you guys get really familiar with all the uh, the tools in flash and um, right after this we'll move on to the more interesting thing which is finally getting into the animation, the tweening, the framing, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so please subscribe and uh, follow me throughout this and I guarantee you'll be able to make your animation in no time. Thank you.